hey and welcome back so in the last video there was this option under behavior where you could choose where this form was fixed or not so what that meant was if you chose that option and i remember leaving that option there so that means that if i scroll this form will always stay up there so that's what was meant by that and uh, also there was an option for you to remove the option for people to be able to close this what that was all about was this button so if you chose to leave this form to be closable then this will be available if not then this will not be there so this is good to have if someone doesn't like to see this they can just close it so in this video I want us to create a pop-up form. So one other thing, I did notice that there was no way for me to go back to this form and get that code, that embed code, this code that I added on my footer. So that means that once you get that code, just make sure you save it somewhere and that will give you an easy way for you to be able to access that code when you need it. And then another thing here, you can duplicate this form. If you like this form and you want to maybe use it on another website as well, you can duplicate the form. If you don't want the form to continue showing up on your website, you can also deactivate the form or delete it. But deactivation is a better choice because you might need to use the form in future. So let's go and create a new form. And we want a pop-up. So I will choose popover. So let's choose um, one of the free themes. So I will choose this theme and let me call it the pop-up. And let me just use the same list. You can create another list. Actually, let me create a different list and call it for pop-up. And create this list then create the form so you can change this let me use the same same thing I said learn HTML and CSS for free there we go and then you can add an image I don't want to add an image I don't want it to be really big I don't want it to load slower than it does so I will not add any image you can also add a video so if I click here to add a video you can add the embed code and you see they support YouTube and Vimeo so if you have a video and you want to use the video as some kind of a call to action you can add the embed code for your video right here I don't want to add a video now this one you can change the message here let me change this one to say get free HTML and CSS for beginners there you go and then I don't want to add anything there so that's just enough then for the thank you Thank you for joining. Here are the links. So I will start with this one, Control C. And you can see I'm doing it on the header. You can do it wherever you want. I want it to be visible, well visible to anyone. That's why I'm doing it on the headline. You can also do it down here where this message is, but I prefer to do it on the headline so that it is easily visible. HTML link and then CSS link. If I put that there, 
and then insert the link paste in the link and I will say I want the link to open in a new tab and then I will insert that come back here and I will take the CSS link put that on there link insert control V then open it in a new tab then insert So here's the message. I could have chosen to put this in the message here, but I want it to be big. I want people to see it. So down here, I'll just say thanks. And that's it for this form. Thank you for joining. Here are the links. There, there. Then save and continue. And background color. I don't want to change the color of anything here, but you know how you can change this. You can just click here and you change the color. If you want to change the, the button text, you can change this one here as well. There. You can change the color of this one also. So it's just basically the same thing as the other one that we did in the last video. So what would you like the size of this pop-up to be? You can make it large, you can make it extremely large, but the medium one works really well. And I don't want it to be too obnoxious. So I'll just leave it at medium, save and continue. And just like the other form, if you want to add another field, you can choose whichever field you want to add here and just add it. I don't want any other field. I will just use the default one, which is the email. Then I can change the button text. Let me say join now. And then save and continue. So show on page load. Yes. Show on exit. Yes. So when they're about to leave, you can show on exit. And then don't show on first visit. So if you choose this, the pop-up will not be shown the first time someone visits. But the next time they visit, they will be shown this pop-up. So I think I'm going to choose that. You don't have to choose this. Actually, don't choose this one because it will probably reduce your it will reduce your subscription rate. But I'm going to choose it anyway. Then loading delay. Of course, I don't want this to show up immediately. Let me show it after 30 seconds. Let me make that 50 seconds. But because I want to show you as an example, I'll just make it. Um, I'll make it one second. But once once I've embedded the form and you see how it works, I'll come back here and change it so that it loads maybe after 30 seconds. So frequency, so when someone visits your site, after how long do you want them to see this pop up again? So let's say I want them to see it after two days. If they come back, maybe after two days, they will see the pop up. Then after user subscribes, they'll be added to this list. And just like with the other form, you can choose another you can choose a completely different page where they'll be redirected to as soon as they subscribe. For me, I will just show them the thank you on this very form and that works well for me. But for you, maybe you might want to do something different. So you'll just choose what, what action you want. So display rules, display on desktop, yes, on mobile, definitely, on tablet, definitely. So just like with the other one, you can say, don't show on or show on URLs. If you don't want this to be shown on a, a cart page, if you don't want this to be shown, new rule, you can also say something else. Maybe you don't want this to be shown on the services page. So it's all up to you how which pages you may not want to show this, you can just type them in there. So we'll save and continue. And 
just like with the other one, you can choose to connect with any of these lists. So in this case, I'm not going to connect with get response. I'll just connect with MailChimp. And you can see my list is already, my account is already connected. So I can just choose this. If I want subscribers to, if I want double opt-in activated, I can click here, but I'll leave it unchecked. All of this, I will just leave like that, but I want to come back here and under lists, I want to create a new list. Create list. So here you can you should use uh, your website's uh, email. Maybe you have something at bizanosa.com. Use that. In my case, I want to use this Gmail. And then make sure you fill in all these other details. And then summary. I will choose that one. And then save. After I so after reloading the page, 